Hey guys, it's Tarkin, and we're coming back with some more Minecraft. We're going to jump into my easy survival world, although it often feels anything but easy. Yes, hilarious observation. Anyway, time to slaughter what we see, and what we see is a sheep and a duck, unless it is a chicken. All right, I need to get to eating. All right, what was I doing? I was committing to solving my problems, which were lack of cooked beef and rawness of pork chops. All right, so now that we've got cooked beef, probably going to be more efficient to eat that instead. Oh my goodness. That was like, like four beefs worth. So what we definitely want to do is commit to this new regime of cooking food. Apparently it's worth it. Hey, we've got some coal. Good deal. Now this is like right behind my house. I don't want to delve too deep here, but I do want to get the coal. I need to be able to make uh, more torches. I need to be able to, uh, you know, cook more food. Every time I think I hear a weird sound, I get a little nervous now. You know, things, things really have changed with the advent of the monsters in the world of Minecraft. But, oh my goodness, look. Don't look a gift cow in the mouth. Merely strike it with your stone sword and watch as it falls before you. But, all right, cooked pork chops. They are a nice tan color, just like you want them to be. And I've got, I got a ton of torches. You know, we're in good shape. There's nothing to be worried about in this world. Everything is fine. We're safe. We're just going to kill a bird and try to take stock of what's going on. The daylight is nice, you know. It makes you feel secure. I've got more wool. I just don't know what to do. And that's why I'm, you know, talking to myself for the internet rather than just playing. No, I'm trying to, to do recordings for all of it. That's right. We were, uh, we were exploring over here. And then there was a zombie. And night was falling. Now I recall it all. I'm gonna put a torch on a tree. That doesn't seem great. Even if the tree doesn't burn down, it seems like an asshole move. Like, what kind of person am I if I won't even get a nice little dirt place to put the torches at? Keep us all safe from harm. That's right, and I was putting one here. I think then I looked over and saw what can only be described as a purple alien. And I know there's another way to describe it, but not by me. I almost kind of want to look for a fight now because I've got, you know, I've got all this cooked food. I've got all of these dead cows around. But I suppose that I, what I'm doing is just, you know, playing the game, right? Now I have kind of a house, and I was thinking, okay, I gotta be more careful because of evil apothecary sorcerer, man. But, you know, that might have just been a fluke. We've got a huge, huge drop off here. So this is gonna be, you know, this is gonna be the next project. We've got our house right over here. It's not too far away. So we're just going to uh, turn this over here into a mine. To do that, Gonna need stone, principally. For steps, I could probably make them out of wood. But I'm just going to uh, flatten the land over in this direction. This will be somewhat separated from my house. So we'll just uh, start it right about over here. You don't have to dig down too far to get stone. Usually it's just like three or four blocks. And the reason I'm doing this rather than just going straight down in that direction is so that I will have an easier route to my house. I don't want to use a natural way going down because then I'll get lost. But if I have this blessedly unnatural way, I'll feel better. It'll be easier for me to know where I'm at whenever I'm running from my enemies and 
with this little trench here, maybe it'll be easier for my enemies to get stuck. If they happen to be chasing me. Am I being shot? Son of a bitch, I am being shot. Oh, God. I've made a huge, tiny mistake. I forgot that there were archers. I was like, if I just go down this precarious place. All right, so he is hiding in the hollow there. What a dick, right? Um, but I think we're going to be able to just avoid him a little bit. And come around this angle. If I just peek my head over the wall, he's not going to know I'm up here. There's one. There's two. Oh, there were two of them there. They were just straight up trying to waylay me. Not going to work. All right. Due to the magic of fall damage, I think they have been uh, eliminated. Very cool. Very awesome, feeling good about that. But what I want to do is keep on with my goal of building a nice stair step down into this crazy mine here. And I usually try to build mine double thick because I am sometimes a little clumsy. And at least this... If I freak out because there's a zombie, you know, like, yeah, like I would just do that. Just freak out because of a zombie in a game full of zombies. But I would, though. And this will make things just a little bit safer and more secure for me. Alright, the zombie is on fire. I, maybe they are poisoned by the sun. It's hard to say. There's a bow over there from one of my previous enemies. I need to uh, get another torch here on the wall. Don't want to be tempting fate too much. Alright, there's a lot of zombies here, but that'll be alright. I need to get more confident with the, the quick dropping of blocks. I have already been told that I am boring. No, I don't have to be told that I'm boring. I knew that. I knew that long before anyone saw fit to tell me. I'm only kidding. I welcome criticisms. I <laughs> Most of the time when people have a criticism of me, it's fair. Most of the time I feel like I could add to it if they just gave me another second and I could do like a really good job of uh, of saying what's wrong with me but you know I uh, am trying to do better all the time I'm trying to be a better Minecraft player that's my real priority in life at the moment well, and the Nintendo 64 I uh, got my Nintendo 64 working very exciting I'm uh, back to playing Goldeneye just like little kid me always wanted you know, never give up. Always, always trust that if you just stick with it, eventually you'll be able to have an average amount of your dreams come true. Like we're seeing right now with this Minecraft world. It's actually kind of funny how casually... I mean, I know it's on easy, but I, uh, I'm just like, oh, there's some archers, there's some zombies, why don't I fight them? Because... You know, you, you build confidence from exposure, right? And I definitely am not now the rookie that I was a week ago whenever I started playing this game. Although I am sure that I still take an agonizing amount of time to commit certain tasks to the game. We're in such a good spot now. I don't think we can cook the rotten flesh. No, the flesh won't cook. 
but we can make some uh, leather boots. Very cool. And now I have a uh, a full set of gear, except for a shield. I think shields exist. There appear to be one on there. I've never used one, though. All right, night is about to fall. And unlike uh, in the past, I think I am just going to let this one ride out. I do want to put up my uh, my junk, though. That's right, I... Oh, don't love those scary sounds. Anyway, I was going to say, yes, I put up some of my most uh, valuable things to protect it from harm, but I didn't do that. I just thought about doing it. I need to start being more reasonable about what I'm doing. Like, why do I still have these seeds? Why have I not started a farm yet? I need to uh, need to be more efficient. I have a bit of a wall. I have enough stuff here for, yeah, I just make stairs. Yes, we just make stairs out of birch, I guess, and then stone a little bit for when I have them. That way we can go and keep on our project. You know, it's funny, the livestock are probably heading here, uh, believing that the lights will keep them safe. And then they just run like headlong into my savage sword. Yeah, I mean, they're just uh, arriving. They are flocking to the safety of our blades. Of course, that would have been better if I didn't fall on the ground like a big dummy. But here, armed with our cooked beef, it's time to wake up because while I was busy playing, these zombies were busy looking at me like I was a snack. Oh boy, all right, there we go. We've got the big purple guy. We are going to try to fight him. We're gonna come around this side. Okay, he uh, he teleported away. That's not great. Well, I'm gonna try to kill him. Death to the opposition! All right, if I hold down the key, does it attack repeatedly? Okay. I've been clicking it furiously, but I think it's like like mining, where if you have something, I don't know, double clicks there seem to be more effective. As I'm talking about destroying my enemies, what I actually do is fail to find purple alien guy at all. I'm sort of chancing it by going so far out here, though I need to just get a torch. Okay, there we go. There's our enemy. No, no, no. I uh, I tried to sprint, but I hit the wrong button. Anyway, the good news is that I was far enough away from home to where I don't actually care that he knocked a hole in the ground. So basically, you just need to not be around anything you care about if you see one of those green bastards like is over there. All right, so he's got his flashes. You just got to not be around and not be struck by him at all, I think. There we go. Three hits and a pop. Good to go. We will have our nicely cooked beef. We got full meat again. Full meat is very important in your quest for full lives. Oh, no, drop my sword. That's bad. Got it again. I, uh, the, uh, the frantic, uh, feeling of never having enough time just, you know, increases. And that's all my fault. It's because I'm running around like a chicken who just got his head cut off by a stone sword. There we go. There's an enemy. I knew I would find one. The archers often move in twos. They're really good shots, even at a close range. It's really difficult to get around them. I think there might be a third one. Uh, 
All right, zombies down. Yeah, I just got to make sure that we're not, you know, losing all of our land to uh, stupid explosions. But I guess since it doesn't matter and I can just re-dirt it up, it doesn't, uh, you know, it's not too annoying. But anyway, even though it's nighttime, I'm just going to go down here and keep on digging. What's the worst that could happen? I could die in a fiery crash? Well, it's true. That could happen. But I don't think it will. So as I was digging, looking for coal here, I had the thought, maybe digging like this is bad. I'll be more precise. Like I got my back to the wall. How will I get out? Like what if I, uh, what if I come into somebody's house and they attack me? Am I going to lose all of the copper? Am I going to lose all the iron that I otherwise would have gained? I don't actually know if copper is good for anything. I'm just using it figuratively because I see more of it than anything else. I don't want to lose all my coal. That is the sound of bad. I just heard a scary sound. This is really a quite rich coal vein, though. Can't... Can't really complain. You know, as long as I don't die down here, as long as... I'm having a interface bug or something? Number three, okay. It was already in the middle of trying to be picked up. That's why I wouldn't let me put something into the slot. But as long as I don't die before I can, uh, you know, get this coal back to the house, this is going to be just like a ton of it, right? This is gonna, this is gonna get me torch supplies forever. But all right, there we go. We've hit water. That's not perfect. I uh, normally I'd be thrilled about that, like yay, fun, water, awesome, boats. But I am worried about the uh, the zombies, so we're just gonna fill that in. And realize that, all right, there's the water table for this particular area. That's all right. Now I need to try to get out of here. And it looks like we've lived through another night. I say that. I thought it wasn't night anymore. Because of the brightness of my torches, thanks to my brave coal mining. But I think these, uh, this really wide range of torches, you know, that's just what we got to do. That's what's going to protect us from harm. Yeah, so we've got a, a skelly archer out that away. We're going to go pop him now. But yeah, it's a, oh, it's a, it's a triple. It's an ambush. I need to kill one right now. Nope, no, I'm, I'm so dead. Yep, there we go. Son of a. All right, we gotta we gotta get in there. We're gonna lose all of our coal. We just walked right into it. Like what? A, what an idiot! All right, there we go. We've got got most of our gear back together again. All right, man, that was. Uh, at least I died close to home, and not so close that they were still on me there. Could have been worse. Oh, that's right. I need to put my pants on again. Very important. You gotta get dressed for battle once you die. Apparently, I've lost my hat. It's not great, but, you know, it's almost to be expected. Wait. 
All right, no crafting table out here. That's, um... Did I move it in here? Unimportant. So what I need to do is just get some oak out to make another crafting table for the outside so I don't have to run in here. Another couple of chests. All right, all of that to put a little hat on, but it is a stylish hat. I think we can all agree that it was well worth it. But anyway, yeah, lived through another night. Very cool. And with a little bit more inventory space, we're just going to come try to pick up some of this junk, some of my tools and bones and various things of that nature. And, you know, back to the plan. Which is just to take advantage of this wonderful natural formation here. Put a decent amount of torches around. Hey, we got some iron. Hell yeah, there we go. All I have to do is not die to these guys. Okay, we've got a chef. Looks like. All right, there we go. Doesn't matter who he is. He's not here now. That's Skeleton Archer. We got to close the distance real quick. That is the creepy guy who is going to ruin all of my dreams. We need to get away. All right, there we go. There's our pop on the skeleton archer. And then there's our one, two, three on that jerk. All right, excellent. I have no inventory space. We're just gonna drop a couple of chests here because I feel like I'm going to be doing a lot of mining in this area. Put a shovel and an axe in it. Put a little sword in it. A little bit of food for when we come back again. Some bones. And then now, yeah, I just want to get to, uh, to the mining of this iron. This is going to be very cool. First iron that I've picked up in this uh, world. So that's going to allow me to get some uh, some better items. Going to allow me to uh, research bucket technology. If you guys have seen any of my stuff in the past, you know how absolutely friggin' amped I get about bucket technology. Oh my god, look at this. The sun comes down. Oh boy! I almost forgot that there were foes in the world. Fortunately, with a lot of punches... I just want to get away from that uh, edge. There we go. Okay, so I got too excited looking at the beauty of the natural world. That's a thing that can happen to you. But uh, anyway, I just need to get up here, deposit some of my iron, get to a safer place. And then, you know, we'll make the stairs a later day. All right, now we're perfectly strong, perfectly fed, perfectly able of grabbing a stone sword and slaughtering the uh, fatted calf, as it were. And yeah, so uh, that's where I'm gonna go. I don't need to worry about digging a hole. Uh, I found a pre-existing chasm and we'll just be able to ride that down as, as far as it'll take us. Pretty cool, pretty exciting. Very much looking forward to what this little world holds for us. I've got 
got five gunpowder now. Can I make guns? Guess it doesn't really matter if I can. I could make multiple furnaces for cooking multiple foods at a time. That would be pretty sweet. All right, so priorities. We're gonna put the iron in a safe place. I need to find a way to get the iron. That's from a smelter. Do I use the iron to make smelter? Okay, let's just get the coal. I don't really remember how all of this works. All right, so a furnace won't do. I've just gotta need more stuff than the iron, I suppose. Because I needed uh, an item to make the iron into iron ingots. I'm gonna carry some of the coal with me. We're getting to a point where we have, like, there we go, yeah, like 20 beef here. So we're gonna be able to just get a very large beef stack. working and forget about it and we'll uh, we'll just come back and then uh, suddenly we'll have way more I just don't want to carry all that iron with me I really don't want to carry any with me at all because I'm so skittish about it breaking but anyway I digress what I should be doing is cutting down a couple more trees I'm just doing this to make uh, some quick stairs because it doesn't really matter what the stairs are made out of. Why not some nice wooden steps? I say it doesn't matter. It may very well matter a great deal. I'm not aware of any way in which it matters. All right, freshly armed with various stairs. We're gonna run back over here. And uh, try to try to make this work a little bit. Oh, yep, I, I tried to go too fast. That is what you get. So I think I need to be looking somewhat down. Yeah, because if I get hit on the uh, angle that faces me. Yep, there you go. If I hit the, uh, the plane of it where it's looking at me, then I won't be able to uh, place a step effectively. Good to know. Apparently, got to have a block underneath it. That's good to know, too. I thought I just moved the dirt into the wool slot, but I'm stupid. I thought I just... There we go. So all we got to do now is deal with my increasingly apparent inability to uh, navigate this world. So, iron first. Iron is the staff of life. Everything comes from iron. I know you're saying, isn't that bread? No, you're wrong. It's actually iron. It's always been iron. They just hadn't discovered iron yet whenever they came up with the saying, so they had to uh, had to say that something else was the thing in charge. Well, we've got granite for the first time. Very cool. Didn't know I hadn't discovered granite yet. We got copper as well. Not that I think I need it for anything. All right, so definitely want to get a torch or two. There, don't want to have a bunch of dark spots. All right, how did I get down here? I'm lost. All right, there we go. Whoa. 
Whoops. I am stuck. And it's getting dark. I'm afraid of everything. Alright, so basically, if I go to the right there, inhospitable. If we go straight down, fine, easy jumping up. We have successfully found another zombie. He has been dispatched. Okay. All right, we've uh, we've been down here a little bit too long now. Let's just eat a brace of mutton, feel a little better about ourselves. Alright, so night is falling on the world. And you know what that means. Time to get out of the mine a little bit. There's actually not huge avenues where the mobs can spawn, so of course they found one where they can. Alright, there's the purplishness that uh, indicates for one of our foes. I'm gonna want to just book it over here. Alright, now we are totally surrounded by nice, safe, zombie-infested water and torches. That's good. That is good, right? It feels good. Having this, like, wide area where my torches are or are supposed to be is so pleasant because it's like all I have to do is live long enough to run away. And then I know that things will be relatively fine for just one more day. And then can sleep through the night. So, there you have it. That'll be that for this episode of Survival Minecraft. So, as we look at the painting and the closed door. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And I hope you have enjoyed this episode.